Hello and welcome to the Apostolic Resource Center. My name is Lisa Great. I'm so glad to be with you this morning and thank you so much for joining me. You know that I like to come on here when the Lord has given me a fresh revelation of a prophetic uh, announcement or a um, revelation in the word that God wants to release to each of you. And so I just want to release something to you quickly this morning that the Lord showed me during my prayer time. There's been a lot of challenges that people have faced since the beginning of 2020. And we thought that it would lighten up. We thought that it would just come and go, but it's actually lingered a lot longer than people were prepared for. And, and the Lord has revealed to me something in scripture this morning that I want to share with you that I had never seen before. And I hope it encourages you because uh, I got word from a friend of mine the other day that the mental health issues among women has increased significantly during the pandemic and a lot of that is because there's so many things that are out of our control as women you know we're not only having to be moms whether stay-at-home moms or moms at work we're having to now learn how to homeschool we're having to now learn how to deal with financial situations as as p many people lost their jobs we're having to deal with inflation and it's creating all kinds of mental health challenges for women especially but for men as well where we're seeing a rise in anxiety a rise in and worry and fear and depression and even addictions that were once overcome are now reactivating themselves because people are struggling to know how to deal with what is going on in their lives and it and especially in the midst of this pandemic where you get the shot or you don't get the shot and it's causing divisions in the in the in the atmosphere and and there's just so many variables related to what's happening right now and people just weren't prepared for that suddenly that happened in 2020 um, and now we're what 18 19 months into this thing and there's still it's still a lingering issue in the airwaves of the earth realm and there's many challenges but there's also many changes that are happening even now and I believe the Lord wants to speak into the situation that we're dealing with right now and he wants to reveal to us not only the situation we're dealing with but also he wants to reveal to us the solution and it's not going to just apply to our current reality it's going to apply to things in your life historically and futuristically so we can't change what's happened to us in the past but we can guard ourselves against things that may come in the future and i believe this is a uh, past present and future word so if you have your bibles we're in psalm 120 today and this was what i was i was praying psalm 120 this morning when the lord gave me this revelation so let me just read this for a couple minutes here and share a couple things with you and see if you can follow this this scripture train that God gave me uh, in the realm of a revelation. It says, In my trouble, Psalm 120 verse 1, I cried to the Lord and he answered me. Many people have been crying out to God and I believe that's why we are seeing a great awakening even right now in our in our cultures all around the world because uh, God so loved the world and he still loves the world that he sent his son Jesus Christ that's Yeshua which means God is salvation God is coming to save us he's not coming to destroy us he's coming to deliver us and so it says in my trouble I cried out to the Lord and he answered me and this is what the psalmist cried out deliver my soul O Lord from lying lips from a deceitful tongue you know anger is uh, anger anxiety fear worry those are all lying lips those are all deceitful tongues anything that creates all of these negative emotions in you they originate with a lying lip or a deceitful tongue that are oracled into the atmosphere something that wasn't true because the enemy takes something that isn't true and he magnifies it in order to create a mental illness in you so that you cannot combat that lie on your own that's why people go into depression because they just shut down because they don't know how to deal with all of the lying lips and deceitful tongues that are coming against them they're not equipped with enough truth to be able to ward them off and so the psalmist says deliver my soul O Lord my mind my will and my emotions from lying tongues from deceitful tongue lying lips and deceitful tongues and he goes on to say what shall be given to you and what more shall be done to you you deceitful tongue he's speaking to those things in the atmosphere that are that are clamoring for his attention that are chatting in the airwaves that are tormenting his mind with thoughts and he's calling him a deceitful tongue because he knows that the God of truth is a God of peace 
He knows that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is a God of salvation and of deliverance. And so these 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 thoughts and these worries and these concerns that are coming against him, he's calling them a deceitful tongue. And then he says this in verse 4. And this is where I really started to take off and I want to share it with you. It says, sharp arrows of the warrior with burning coals of the broom tree. And I thought, sharp arrows of the warrior with burning coals of the broom tree. What exactly does that mean? So I did a little bit of research into the broom tree and what I learned was extremely significant. The broom tree is a tree that actually has very narrow and thin branches. And actually, these branches would be cut down and used to bind things. So you remember when they talk in Scripture about binding the sacrifice to the altar. Because the altar had four horns on it, and the four horns were very practical as well as spiritual. Um, But what they would do is that they would bind the, the animal sacrifice to the altar so that they could burn it as a as a sacrifice um, uh, offering unto God, that was that was how they offered their sacrifices to God, and so they would take the the branches of the broom tree and they would use it as a binding material, kind of like we use rope. But this would have been a super strong binding material that would have kept the animal sacrifice tore there. So with the burning coals of the broom tree, I was like. The burning coals of the broom tree. Well, here's what I also found out. The broom tree is a tree that is in the desert. It is a desert tree. And it wasn't only used for binding. It was also used for fuel. They would actually use the broom tree like coals is what I learned. Let me see if I can find it right here. Um, It says the wood of the broom tree makes excellent charcoal which burns with intense heat. <laughs> so when, when the psalmist who knew this about the broom tree says, with the burning coals of the broom tree, he knew that that broom tree was used like we use charcoal in order to create intense heat. And so it's, he was saying, sharp arrows of the warrior with burning coals of the broom tree. He was saying that that's what your words feel like to me. They feel like sharp arrows of a warrior coming and stabbing my soul or burning coals of a broom tree. Just literally the intense heat of these deceitful words and these lying lips are penetrating me and I don't know how to handle it. So as I'm reading that and and studying that out and coming to understand what that is all about, the Lord begins to drop, the Holy Spirit begins to drop into me scripture verses. And of course, the first one I go to is Ephesians 6.16. And it says, for the shield of faith extinguishes the fiery darts of the enemy. The shield of faith extinguishes the fiery darts of the enemy. And the Lord said to me that the fiery darts of the enemy are very similar, based on Psalm 120 verse 4, to the sharp arrows of the burning coals of the broom tree. So what the... the the psalmist was talking about is exactly what Paul is talking about that these fiery darts of the enemy these these attacking voices that are coming against us it's the root of a deceitful tongue and lying lips how do we know for the enemy he is the God the father of lies he cannot speak the truth so the antidote to these fiery darts that are coming against you the antidote to these lying lips that are rising against you the antidote to this deceitful tongue that is arising and, 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 and trying to attach itself to you, you know what it is? It is the shield of faith. That word shield is the idea of double doors, like an arch door, but double doors. It's a shield of faith. That means your faith has to be at the door of your heart to guard you against the fiery darts and the lying lips of the enemy. Uh, it's a it's a portal the the shield is a portal it's an entrance it's a gate it's a window it's a it's a gate warden it's a gatekeeper your faith is a gatekeeper to ward off the lying lips and the deceitful tongue why because the lying lips and the deceitful tongue are trying to attack your trust, your belief, your peace, your joy, your prosperity, your everything 
that's hidden behind the gate that is faith. <laughs> Woo. So I just want to encourage you. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And even these words that I'm sharing with you, I pray they're, they're instilling you with faith because the Lord is wanting to use your faith as a shield in order to extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy. And then we can go to Isaiah. Let me pop there for you. Isaiah 54. The Lord just brought me all over the place with this revelation. Listen to verse 16 and 17 now. In light of these fiery darts, in light of this broom tree, which is sharp arrows and coals, it says, Behold, in verse 16 of Isaiah 54, I myself, this is the Lord speaking, have created the smith who blows the fire of coals. Brings us back to Psalm 120. And brings out a weapon for its work, and I have created the destroyer to ruin. No weapon, no fiery dart, <laughs> no sharp arrow, no burning coal that is formed against you will prosper. And every tongue, every lying tongue, every deceitful lip that accuses you in judgment, you will condemn. How do you condemn it? With faith. You prophesy the truth by faith. It doesn't matter if the circumstances have changed. You prophesy the truth by faith. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from all these lying deceitful lips is from me, declares the Lord. My friends, <laughs> the Lord is saying, use the shield of faith, pr prophesy, no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Every lying tongue, deceitful tongue that rises against me or accuses me in judgment, I will condemn it. I will cast that thing down. That's why we're called to take every thought captive under the authority of Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5. <laughs> Cast that thing down. Condemn that thing. Curse that lying tongue. Curse that deceitful thought. Curse it. Cast it down. Tell it it has no authority in your life. Because your guard is faith that extinguishes all these things at the gate so that they cannot penetrate and pierce your soul. Because you know what you're dealing with from history? Fiery darts that have made it to your soul. You know what you're dealing with in the present? With this pandemic and other things happening with uh, uh, financial problems and other things? You're dealing with fiery darts that have made it to your soul that are creating anxiety, fear, and worry. But you know what the Lord of hosts is doing? He's raising up in you a shield of faith to extinguish those fiery darts so that you can prophesy no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me in judgment I shall condemn. You've been given the authority to condemn those fiery darts, to condemn those deceitful tongues, to condemn those lying voices. You do not have to receive them. You condemn them. You do not have to agree with them. You, you, you refute them in the name of Jesus. I, I just, I love the word of God. And let me just add this last one. Psalm 76, verse 3. Because this is another one that's in that same exact vein. And this is what it says. Let me start with verse 1. God is known in Judah. His name is great in Israel. His tabernacle is in Salem. His dwelling place is in Zion. There, there in the place of God's presence, there in the tabernacle of God, there in, as we could put it this way, in the kingdom of God, there he, the Lord God, Yahweh, broke the flaming arrows, the shield and the sword and the weapons of war. You see, the Lord is interested in destroying the works of the enemy. That's what the Bible says Jesus came to do, to destroy the works of the enemy. And now that Jesus Christ who is in you is the hope of glory, you, my friend, are called to destroy the works of the enemy that are coming against you in your life. You are called to put up a shield of faith to protect your children, protect your husband, protect your family, protect your church, protect your city, protect your community, protect your nation, 
Put up the shield of faith. Any tongue that rises in judgment, any lying tongue, any deceitful tongue, any lying lip, set fire to it. <laughs> Condemn it. Cast it down and tell that thing you will go no further because I am standing with the Lord of hosts to refute you because he is the God of truth and you are the father of lies and your word shall not remain, but his word, sh excuse me, shall remain forever. My friends, I hope that helps you understand what you may be going through and I hope that gives you a solution and a significant way of allowing the shield of faith to become your portion and to raise it up to guard your soul so that no longer can fiery darts attach themselves to you. Ah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for letting me share that revelation with you this morning. It's always a privilege to be able to talk to you and share what God has revealed to me with you because I thoroughly love giving you the fresh revelations that God pours into me. Freely I've received, freely I give. I hope you are blessed. My name is Lisa Great. I'm with the Apostolic Resource Center. If you'd like to give to the Apostolic Resource Center, we would be honored to have you become a giver, a one-time or monthly giver. But if you don't want to, just keep enjoying these videos for free. It's our privilege to share them. You can go to apostolicresourcecenter.org if you want to give. Otherwise, just click the like, share, and subscribe button if you want to keep receiving these videos. God bless you and thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.